Jack the Ripper, one of the most famous unknown serial killers in history, rooted from the streets of London. Tonight, we are visiting a haunted home linked to the Whitechapel murder, where they even have the real items from the atrocities he committed on proud display. Many people lived, they died in this building, and the people that work here, the staff, they don't like coming in on their own. Imagine living in a time where a room in your house was dedicated to storing the bodies of your family members. You heard, you that. swear to God, nobody's inside, but you heard like a you door closed or something? No, it was like something scooting. They were like, we weren't talking. They said they weren't homes. talking at all. So maybe it wasn't from down here, maybe it came from upstairs. Well, you know it's below where they're talking. The morgue. The morgue. They didn't realize that they were, you know, dissected mm -hmm. when they were actually murdered. They, 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 they were cut open, their body parts were sometimes mm -hmm. taken. So they would have been placed, laid out on a, a mock table just like this. Are these, are these really pictures of them? Yeah, they're the victims. These are the victims? These are the victims. Now. Welcome to the top area, the top room. This is probably one of the most haunted bits. This room is always down to a gentleman. As I said, I'm talking to an audience, a few people looked at me a bit strange and a bit different. I didn't really take much notice. One of them said, I swear we can see someone stood behind you, and that's why we have to leave, we have to go. The location's all yours. Oh my gosh. So scary. You see how dark it gets when I haven't turned the light that way? That's one, let's see. Oh. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Jack the Ripper Museum, the White Chapel Witness. This episode is brought to you by Simply Safe. This is night four of 13 from our UK and Ireland series. These are the most insidious and terrifying videos we have ever made. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to everything paranormal, supernatural, mysterious, unknown, unsolved, inexplicable. And well, we're in the capital of it in the world. We're in the UK and we made it to London. The Tower of London's right behind us, which might be coming up on our next trip to the UK. You know, potentially, amazing. potentially, potentially coming up, maybe, might already be working on it for our next trip. So because we're in London, we had to do something that involved Jack the Ripper. It's probably the most notorious unsolved case in world history, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Ever. Yeah, probably. For real. So that's what we're here for. And of course, you haven't figured it out yet. We're here with Dan, yeah, AKA Exploring with Fighters, and then Jack, who's been our editor for the last year, who lives in London, so we just met him yesterday at the Hellfire Cave. You guys ready? I'm excited. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm like, I have so many friends that are gonna be so jealous of this. Of going into the Jack the Ripper Museum? Yes. Yeah. Jake is like the biggest Jack the Ripper fan. Wait, Jake the Ripper? <laughs> That's what he ends up being in, yeah. in eight years. <laughs> oh God, I hope not. Jeez. You weren't a good friend if you turned into Jake the Ripper. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be fun. We're going in there and I think we're the first film team to ever be in the Jack the Ripper Museum. Yeah. So Sick. We're gonna head on over there now. Enjoy the video. Arguably the most famous serial killer in England's history, possibly even the world. Jack the Ripper brought fear throughout all of London in the late 19th century. And for over a century now, his identity and true quantity of murders is unknown, leaving cold case experts and history buffs across the world clueless. What is known was his choice in targeting an impoverished area known as Whitechapel, London, and the alleged female prostitutes that lived there. Between August and November of 1888, there were five victims confirmed to be from the hands of the Ripper. Marianne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly, now known as Canonical Five. Yet from April 1888 and the 10 months following, a total of 11 unsolved murders happened in the area, leaving most to believe the additional six were in fact the work of Jack the Ripper. Quantity of victims is not what has created the infamy around his crimes, but the method in which he chose to commit them. He would, in fact, cut their throats and perform abdominal mutilations 
including organ removal. Beyond the brutality, it is believed these crimes were done in public areas that had constant officer patrol leads others to believe these crimes had to have been committed by someone who knew the police route. The fact and folklore that surrounds these crimes is immensely complicated. As more and more people strive to solve the case, even matters such as the vocation of the victim has recently been disproven, showing that most were living traditional family lives, drastically altering any potential motive or reasoning. Over the last 100 years, there are now over 100 names on the suspect list. But tonight, we're visiting a haunted house directly within the Whitechapel area that has seen hundreds of years of despair. It is not only home to the legend of Jack the Ripper, but some of his items. Please make sure to subscribe. We have brand new investigations and locations every week. And if you hear or see anything in this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. Hey everyone, just stopping in to give a thank you to our sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is currently offering its holiday deals of 40% off or more. There's never been a better time to make your home safe. All of their systems are customized to your home with a huge variety of different cameras. You have the doorbell one, interior, they have exterior cameras as well, keypads, key fobs, they have motion sensors, window sensors, carbon monoxide, smoke detectors, and all of it, this is the best part, connects directly to your hub, your home hub right through an app you control everything on your phone it was legitimately the easiest setup that was my big setback prior to getting any home security system was i thought it might be a little daunting and difficult to set up but this is great and my favorite device they have is their wireless outdoor camera that i currently have set up outside you can actually set it to auto detect motion and auto record so i get all these little hidden gems saved into my phone that i can watch back <laughs> whenever i want and see what's happening and all of it is connected to the interactive monitoring service. Head over to simplysafe.com slash overnight one. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this UK series as much as I was making it. And of course, enjoy the rest of the video. Here it is, Jack the Ripper Museum. Hey! There he is. How's it going? Oh, man, you're very welcome. Awesome. Elton, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hey, how you doing? You okay? What's, What's up, right? man? Welcome. Good to see you. Jack, nice welcome. to meet you. Nice to see you guys. Hello, my friend. Welcome. welcome, you guys. Welcome to the East End of London and to the Jack the Ripper Museum, one of the most haunted locations around here. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully, you'll interact with some of the spirits that are allegedly supposed to haunt this building and some of the ghosts that are walking around every single area. So, beyond a museum, you, this used to be a home right like is there history to the building or is it just a museum no many people lived they died in this building you know they were up to 15 to 30 members of the family living in one room now we're in a building that's got six rooms in it so if you can count up how many families would have lived in it families have died many people suffered disease you know you're in the worst end of east end of london here you're in the slums right around the corner from a variety of different famous locations that are around one of the locations from the jack ripper um, murder victims is actually within walking distance from where we are now. It's got a reputation and that reputation has grown quickly and fast. What activity has already happened? You name it, obviously we experience a variety of different interactions with the energies and the spirits that are here from feeling emotion when you come in here from sad to angry to upset many many different sort of experiences such as that obviously you get black shadows that are seen walking around people run from here in terror and the people that work here the staff they don't like coming in on their own. It's the CCTV have, have, have actually captured the uh, staff members running out of the building. And, yeah. and she said, I felt like someone was following me. Someone was definitely around. And this is one of the things that's experienced the most is people come out adamant that something's happened to them. So it's not just like one or two little things. They're adamant that that has happened to them when they've been in here. So, wow. And what's on the bottom floor? The bottom floor is um, a morgue, so it's set up just as, a, as I said, a, a sort of memorial to some of the victims of Jack the Ripper as well. So all the names, dates, everything's all out there as well. Yeah. So it's just sort of a, a, a mock-up of a morgue that's down there as well. That's where the, a black form is spent to manifest in the corner of the room when you're standing there long enough. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. Wait, so there, there was actually loads of bodies down there, actually kept down there as a functioning. Well, what, if you think about this house, how many people would have lived here, would have died here, they obviously would have had to have used certain areas to, to store the bodies before they moved on. So when you, you remember even back to the plague, you know, yeah. the old ringing the bells well, mm. with their old carts, they would have come down these very, very streets 
and we're not far from a, a plague burial pit from where we are now as well so wow, you're in right in the heart of the location as i said where many different ghost things seem to happen do you imagine yeah. living in a time where a room in your house was dedicated to storing the bodies of your family members mm -hmm. and with that being said you're not only the tour guide for tonight because you love this place but you are a, a psychic medium i'm a psychic medium it's what i've done for 20 years now it's all i've really done is it's my full-time job so yeah. wow. really sort of exciting yeah to sort of go around tell you some of the ghosts some of the energies that are, are, are allegedly supposed to be here and some of the energies that we know that are here tonight as i said every location here is different Sometimes you get energies that make themselves known, and this is one of the locations where they normally they do. So if you're gonna sort of experience something such as that, so it's usually on the, I don't want to say the word negative side to you, mm -hmm. but it's it's known, it's known for here. It's, it's I realized that you didn't want to say negative side, but you did say it. I know. So now we know. Here it's almost like someone's watching you all the time, even oh. though we're here all together. Mm. It's almost like someone's listening, someone's watching. Mm. Well, they hate me because my name's Jack. I don't know. We will find mm. You're about the same height of them, too. Oh, really? With he's, his hat or with He's allegedly a, a taller man. Was he seven foot four? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'd love to see you around the place and, and hear everything that you have. No worries. You're very, very welcome. Cool. We'll follow your lead. Follow me. Are there any good spirits here, or is it all negative? Good and bad in everyone. Yeah. The same with this building. I won't tell you everything that's been allegedly been picked up until we get to certain spots, but there's energies that will make themselves known on a, a darker sort of path okay. than there will energies that will maybe in interact positive. with you in a positive way. As I said, with right to different, <laughs> different <laughs> things. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so psyched. I'm so <laughs> stoked. <laughs> this is actually, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. It even smells. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like it belongs. So yeah. that's that's a Freemason badge. Mm -hmm. Right. So I was wondering what the yeah, what's, what's the connection there? there? A lot of people say that Jack the Ripper will have a con connection with the Masonic side of things and the societies that they sort of happened. Obviously, if you've seen any famous films or anything like that, the connection with Jack the Ripper, it sort of has a good ring to it as well. Um, so that's why when you walk. We have to turn that off before we do any EVP. Yeah. 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 Oh, and this is a map of all the different murder sites, right? Yeah. Oh, right. wow. And then where are, where are we? Uh, Cable Street, so that we're 12? Yep, yeah, that's where we are. So everything happened within a mile or so, maybe less? Cool. What? The only Jack the Ripper site that still remains is this one. This what does that mean by so oh, like as in the <laughs> building still? Oh, it wasn't a building. Every single Jack the Ripper, apart from the last one, which was Mary Kelly, was she was murdered inside. Everyone else was in the streets, oh, wow. outside, yeah. in, in the middle of the morning, early hours of the morning. One of the poor um, uh, actual souls was actually discovered while someone was walking to work in the morning and actually found her and, and covered her up, thinking that she was still alive. Mm. Only to walk away, find a policeman. And he came back, checked on her, and needed to find that she'd had. A lot of thinking like they were homeless and stuff. Or yeah, unfortunately, they were unfortunate women at that time as well, which was yeah. classed as a prostitute. So they were known to be out at that time, um, trying to make a few bobs so they could stay in the local Respect. houses. Yeah, stay in the local houses oh. and earn a few little pence just so they could stay inside. Her. They say that she found had bruises around her neck where Jack the Ripper mm -hmm. was supposed to have strangled her. I could never live here. So I mean, it's it's intense. The energy. Is there anyone else here? All right. Is anyone else here? No. Huh? Shouldn't be anyone else here. Is there no one else inside? Just no. I don't think so. I just heard a. Mm. I swear. Why would anyone? Even if there was someone else inside, why would they just go? Mm. I, like, oh, was it from my rap battle earlier? Oh, it, mm. that's what it was. That might have been it. Mm. Yeah, we'll say it was. That. I mean, we can find out if anyone's in here too. Look, look above you. Cameras in every room. Oh yeah. So. He's so interesting. You say it at that spot. Because when we've done ghost investigations here before, we've been sat here, mm. and it's similar here, different things coming from outside of the different rooms. Only to be sat here, and then we'd all leave, go into a different room. Only to hear it back down here where we started. Really? Hmm. Constant. Okay. You said some of the spirits were active, but you said it like some of them are not active. Were you talking like the storm tape theory, like residual energy? 
yes exactly right. that my friend Absolutely. sometimes spirits energies um, it's, it's a theory and it is as you yeah. say the stone tape theory where if something happens uh, sorry to say but a murder or a, a negative passing that energy seems to stay within the fabric of the building can get replayed Exactly like that, my friend. What, what is that theory called? Stone tape? Stone yeah. tape. Interesting. Another theory that we talked about numerous times, but it hasn't had a name to it. Yeah. yeah, if someone uh, dies or gets murdered or something happens, you know, they say something you traumatic. Have unfinished business. Yeah. It almost gets recorded in the fabric of the building. That's exactly what we talked about at Lizzie Borden, I how know. we thought we were watching the events unfold again. Yeah. Like everything in real time. Do you know, by the way, and Lizzie Borden, and again to everyone that figured it out, the REM pod went off precisely 30 times. Is that many times? Stabbed? That's exactly how many stabs were calculated. Someone, someone went through and realized that it was exactly 92 minutes later, and the REM pod went off 30 times. So we have often sit down. It's a brilliant place to do a lone vigil. If any of you guys are going to do it, sit off in a corner and just sit quietly. And just, just, hold on, hold on. There's nobody else inside right now. You heard, you that. swear to God, nobody's inside, but you heard like a door close or something? You know, it's like something scooting. We locked yeah. the door when we came in. It was like a girl. A hundred percent just heard something. Dude, go look, go look. There's, there's nobody downstairs right now. Not, you heard the moan that time, right? No, he, he said, it was like, what? Anybody down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> we thought oh. we heard voices. False alarm. <sighs> What's that? You swear to God, you weren't talking. They were like, we weren't talking. They said they weren't, they weren't talking, talking at all. So maybe it wasn't from down here. Maybe it came from upstairs. It was a scoot. And then as we were talking about the scoot. And then after that, it was like, turn around. Well, you know, it's below where they're talking. Morgue. The morgue. So if you're convinced you heard it from downstairs. Dude, it I sounded dude, like it, it could have come from It up. was clear as day. Like, the microphones had to have picked it up. There's no way I didn't hear at least the scoot. Dude, if there is no sound effects upstairs of a man with a deep voice talking, <laughs> you heard, you heard yeah. it, right? We've had the um, poltergeist activity being report, reported Jeez. in here, wow. things being moved, wow. people being pushed, all sorts of stuff has been reported. What's the worst thing? The worst thing that's happened here? Here? Yeah. Almost standing in the top room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where the tools are. Where the, you'll see it yourself. It's, it's a mock up of one of the murder sites. And it's almost like a dark figure standing at the top. Unfortunately, I didn't see it. Everyone saw it stood behind me. Oh. So I was looking at everyone else doing the talks and talking. In a way behind you. And then they. Everyone else's reaction was different, and I thought I was doing my something right. Like a dark light. Sort yeah. of. Well, it was well, not the top half. It was just yeah. a, a dark, yeah, dark big figure that was stood there. And as I said, everyone's reaction was different. And I sort of like looked back at what sort of happened, and then one or two started to leave, and then everyone went running down the stairs. And then I turned. There was nothing that I didn't see anything, but everyone swore that they saw a dark. So that, it wasn't so scary for me. Yeah, yeah. But everyone else swore that there was someone stood. And we'll take you up. We'll stand you in that very very spot. Do you sense always, anything now? Always someone else. There's always someone else. What the f***? Oh, uh, Elton. Oh. Was it Elton? Yo, I said that and the lights went out. Oh no, that second. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, do you sense anything here now? And the oh yeah, I heard oh, you say that. Literally that second. Was that Elton? Yeah. That had to have been. Oh, he was on key if it was. Elton, you guys turn all the lights off? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Found the owner and learned how to turn off all the audio. So there's no more audio tracks in the building. So now anything you hear, no, so no, no deep voice. No. Do you know anything about the theory that yeah. if Sorry. you kind of recreate things, you tend to stir up activity? Yes. Because we have someone here named Jack, and we have the attire that was allegedly worn by Jack. So if we put Jack in Jack's, in Jack's attire, in do you think that would maybe stir yeah. things up a little bit? Most definitely. Do you have like a prop knife or anything that we could? We can find one for him. If you have a look behind you, we've got a whole it's medical right. equipment. You've got the. There you go. Case over there. Would this fit my fat? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, that is a heavy, heavy so boy. Here you go. Well, what's that? Oh, oh man. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. I think <laughs> someone misheard Jack the Ripper and got Jack the Whipper. No, <laughs> Jack the Stripper. Yeah. <laughs> Jack the Stripper. <laughs> Jack the Stripper. <laughs> this is Jack the Stripper. <laughs> Corey, if you're going to do the outfit, you got to commit. No, you look like, um, look to your right. Oh, God. Uh, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Yeah. yeah. Charlie Chaplin. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that character wow. just totally came to life. <laughs> Would you boys like to see some evidence? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look. Yes. Look. Yes. Look. Yes. Look. Yes. Get back. Okay. <laughs> yep. You. Look. Get back. <laughs> so quick. Matt Wright. That was my no, name. No, it's Matt Wright. Oh, Matt Wright. Close. It's close. Come here. Get back. Dan. Come here. Trade. Okay. <laughs> you have to do an American accent the whole time. A very offensive one. Okay, if you'd like to look at this. Oh, this is fire! <laughs> that was very good. No, it's really. Spend a lot of time around America. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's take a look. As you look here, we can see. That was amazing. That was amazing. Now I don't think you were ever British. Hugh, come here. <laughs> come here. Closer. 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 Here. Read that word. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Thank you guys. Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Punch. <laughs> I think you gotta commit to it all night. Yeah. We know, we know the rules. Yeah. When you dress like them and you act like them, then you have to fully commit and live your life like them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Jack. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. how hot it is. Jack. Imagine being, imagine yeah. murdering somebody. How hot he was, yeah. huh? I'll put it on if Corey wants me to put it on. I want you to <laughs> take some stuff off. Catch with that stick. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, Jack. Hand it over, Jackie. Hand it over, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Off. Everybody, comment down below. Does Matt look better with a jacket on or jacket off? <laughs> now may I try the leather on? Give them options. Oh, I think I'm a bit too strong. Oh, 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 never mind. It's a perfect fit, isn't it? You shall go. It's a perfect fit, isn't it? There you go, boy. -o. Where are you going, geezer? Huh? You got any money on yours? I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blind? The blind man, you <laughs> Oh, Watch where you're going, dickhead. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like, uh, what's it called? How, how, do, how do Americans say it? Um, dickhead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a bit creepy in here. I don't like that one bit. This is an expensive window. You weren't even allowed to have daylight. Now look at you. I feel like I'm gonna piss off spirits so much. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. It's, hell it's incredible. I'm, I'm going to be running out of this building. You're tonight. going to be running out of this building tonight. There we go. Come on, Mr. Pop. And squid. <laughs> These are the original. No. Back case over there. Back case over there is original. These are real shackles. Yes, they were actually um, given to the museum by the family of um, the PC, the constable at the time, who actually found the body of Catherine Eddowes. Is that anybody in specific? That's the PC. Oh, that's actually that's him. Yeah, that's it. No way. And the fact that these items were there during the site, like during the murder and everything. Yeah. Welcome to the top area, the top room. This is probably one of the most haunted bits of the whole entire location, to be honest. This is where you tend to experience a lot of paranormal phenomena that does happen here as well. It's not my favourite part, and I don't mean that as in say I don't like it, it's tend to get a lot of energies up here as well. You know, people tend to get out of breath quite a lot when they're in here. Uh, one of the most scariest um, sort of activity that's happened, happened in here for me, right next to where we are now. What's well, happened? We do tours and we were just doing a, a general tour and I happened to be chatting to people, telling them little bits about what, what, what people have experienced in here. As I said, I'm talking to an audience, a few people looked at me a bit strange and a bit different. I didn't really take much notice. It was only when one or two of them started to leave. I thought, oh, have I said something wrong? Have I you know, messed it up or done something? And it was only then when one of them said, we swear we can see someone stood behind you. And that's why we had to leave, we had to go. Was and I was just stood there. Were the lights on? No, they were completely off and I had a torch. Mm. So they were saying it was almost like a dark form shadow was behind us. But this room is always down to a gentleman. 
Mm. Okay, there's lots of different souls, as I said, that lived here and died here. You tend to get a lot of smelling of alcohol. So when you can smell beer or whiskey when you come in here as well. Some of the areas are scary, but here it's a bit more intense. So who's, who, I don't know who's brave out of all of you, but I would stay here because this is where you get, as I said, a gentleman, a very, very um, overwhelming energy. Now, some of the spirits, you know, don't mind you coming into their property and, you know, to them, some of them think it's still theirs. They think it's still their house and their, mm -hmm. their land and that, that, you know, they're seeing it exactly like they would have seen it at that time. So they're almost like telling people to leave and, and get out. And that's exactly what the gentleman comes down to as well. It's almost a feeling of wanting to get all of us out as quickly as possible mm. and just to leave him in peace. I spoke about some of the other energies of the children that are in the building as well. They don't tend to come up here. It tends to just be that gentleman. So the children would be scared. I've always, as I said before, felt very, very heavy around my chest and it's almost like breathing difficulties. So I heard that. What was that? Just a little rattling on the wall just behind me. Really? What? You did hear that, right? I, you looked at the same time as me until so I heard it. Just behind you in the corner. But some of them want you to know that they're there. Mm. And this gentleman's one of them. He's not scared that any of us are here. He's not bothered. He just wants you to leave and, and get out. So that's why you get that lot of anger. You get that feeling of wanting to, to, to run down the stairs. And that's why I and think that is what will happen. The story you're telling, about that, it kind of sounds reminiscent of like the Enfield poltergeist. And yeah. everything that happened there, that there was a, the old man mm -hmm. who refused to leave and just wanted everyone out of his house. That was all he cared about. Welcome to London. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone just across the old man. Every every Englishman's home is their castle, isn't it? That's true. It's only been old and, and, and uh, sorry, only been a museum for a short number of years. So it hasn't had people coming in. So maybe when now it's open, they're sort of thinking, why are they here? Why are they around? Why, you know, yeah. they're close. Only just outside the front of where we are, there was a big riot that happened in the, in the, um, in the 20th century just here. How crazy would it be if you actually lived in this house? And just no one knew, just yeah. pure coincidence and mm. the universe just wrapped it all back in. So it'd be good I for mean, us tonight, huh? It's very <laughs> possible. There was 15 to 30 people on each floor and no one ever knew where he lived, yeah. So yeah, you may have um, disrupted did you something. Hear that? Did you touch something? Tap, tap. No, we heard no, like, like a row. Um, it's like a um, no one heard that. Did anyone, it was like, so loud. anyone actually? Shh, shh, shh. Should we to call out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. If there's anyone around, any spirits, if the gentleman that we speak of is around us, could you make a noise? We don't mean you any harm. We come with great respect. We just want to know why you're here. Do you want us to bring you a drink? Bottle of whiskey might help. Are you serious? But always use the name George in here. I was thinking the elevator. George? Yeah. That's what we oh, think it is. In the, yeah, the elevator. Yeah, it came from the elevator. <laughs> George. Always use the name George. Doesn't. George, are you in here? Dude, I'm really excited to investigate here. Yeah, yeah this place is incredible. Huh? We still haven't even seen the morgue. Oh, that's all oh, right. No. Should we head down? Anyone want to take the elevator with me? I'll go with I'm going to take the stairs. Yeah. 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 You have to take what? Yeah, I think so. But we're not on this is the fourth floor. Oh, yes. the lobby one. This doesn't seem. Yeah. Watch it's it like break. Air watch it break here. right now, and then we don't oh even make God. it. Be, I assume. At least it's air conditioned in here. No, you won't be the basement ground. I guess it's working. Yeah, I guess so. Watch it break and then we don't even get a video tonight. Oh my god. We're just waiting for the fire department for the entire time. We'd get a video, just not the video. The, like, the worst possible. <laughs> just seven hours. I'd say what's scary about this is there's no emergency hatch at all. So whatever air we have in here is what we have. Oh, that's very true. We're barely down Did one floor. What? Yeah, it, like talked. Oh, it did. Okay. I, thought it said you I, hope, I hope so. I thought it said you look beautiful. That's what it kind of sounded like. That's what I heard. Are you serious? Yes. Emergency hatch at all. So whatever air we have in here is what we have. Oh, that's very true. We're barely down one. 
You didn't hear it? It was, like I a, heard woman, it was, like a, it was a woman's voice, right? You I, beautiful. I thought it was the lift just saying like, like third floor or something, yeah. but it didn't sound like floor. No. And it, it didn't announce second floor. And it didn't announce second floor or first floor. Are you serious? I know I heard it, but I didn't hear what it said. I thought it said, you look beautiful. I heard that clear as day with the headphones. Did you just get hit on by a spirit? I'm okay with that, as long as they like me. Do I tell them? Yeah. Yo, so we get on the elevator. And as soon as we get down to floor three, Evan and I both hear, you look beautiful, from a girl's voice coming from the elevator. And we thought it was being like, you know, third floor or second floor. And we noticed it didn't say anything for floor two or floor one. Elton barely heard it. We both heard the exact same thing. It was a girl's voice. At least they like you. So the elevators yeah. don't say anything, right? They don't no. announce what floor. No. So why would it have said anything? You heard that? So clear. It's it's on the audio, guaranteed. Jack looks so excited. <laughs> I just want my jacket back. All right, I got gotcha. you. It's got the whole Swayze about it, isn't it? Yeah. In that jacket. Now I'm gonna get beautiful comments. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You think this is an original like operating table? We can check. But yeah. no, it would have just been. And it's the same with every ripper victim that they have. They didn't realise that they were, you know, um, dissected mm -hmm. when they were actually murdered. They, 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 they were cut open, their sort of body parts were mm -hmm. sometimes taken. So they would have been placed, laid out on a, a mock table just like this. They lifted the skirt up of the victim only to find completely mutilation underneath as well. So this was one of the, one of those rooms um, that people would have lived in. As I said, the bodies um, of the other tenants that may have lived here. It's the coldest place. May have been yeah. down here as well. It's, it's one of those rooms where you tend to get a lot of activity. As I said, oh my god, are these, are these really pictures of them? Yeah, they're the victims. These are the victims. These are the victims. Now, no I know way. it looks like there is five, five main Jack the Ripper victims. Oh. Now there were other people m murdered. Oh my god, that's, that's a of the one upstairs where we were. Dude, oh, what they that discovered. one's pretty oh. gory. Oh my god. I'll tell you what they did to him. They skinned them completely. What? Cut out the heart, took the heart with her, and cut them right down to the bone. So when you see on that picture that white stick sticking up, that's a bone. That's a leg that's bone? a leg bone. Cut them right down that's to the bone. Oh she actually has owed a few shillings, a few money for rent. So the rent man went round in the morning, banged on the door, trying to sort of get in. Couldn't get hold of it. Went round to the window, opened a little piece of cloth that was there, saw it and looked in, and that's what you saw right in front of them. Oh, so are they in order then? Are they right yes. Oh, Some right. of them, Martha Tadron is behind us now as well. I think there's another one over in that corner. These were people that were murdered close to where around the time oh, of Jack the Ripper as well. They don't know if they were Jack the Ripper victims. One of them did have their throat cut as well. So. What time is it? Is it like nine o'clock? Twenty-two. I just got eight forty. Horrifically tired. Like I wanted, to, like my eyes just literally just want to close right now. Emotion. You heard like that. Bradley, thank you for the tour. Appreciate it. Um, would you mind before you leave us in here alone? You show me where the light switch is. You know why? To turn them off to the whole say place. Say you don't know. Oh. Say you don't know. Say you don't know. You got to turn the lights off. I'm yeah. Why? Yeah. I think so. it's yeah. Is there just a power button somewhere? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show you. Okay. We'll show you. Can we do it right now? Yeah. Okay. Do have to? Is it literally that one? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to do it. You don't have to. Elton, here's the thing. You don't have to do it. Tell me, give me one good reason why I don't have to. Uh, you might find your light. Because, uh, you know, light, light, yeah. light is a, electricity is a luxury. Some countries don't have it. Okay. We shouldn't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Right. Which also means we shouldn't use it when we don't need it. But Thank the spirits you. can that great, great, just selfish. <laughs> and he runs into your trash can. See, dangerous. All right, cool. So maybe let's split up. Okay. Some people in the top floor, George's room. Some people in the morgue, so that way we know for sure we're not hearing each other. I'll do the top floor. Okay. I'll do the morgue. So make my home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe change up who we're with. And then maybe at the end we can all meet up in the middle in the Ripper room where all the, I guess like the artifacts are that were there at one of the okay. murders. Who do you okay. want to take with you? Uh, I didn't go with you last time. No. Okay, so you may. So then you, you want to do top floor? All right. Yeah. Dan was last pick. You're with us. <laughs> I'll take that. It's <laughs> like a game of dodgeball. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the, the fat guy gets picked last. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. No, Elton's fat. Don't do that. <laughs>
Wait, I like how you're going back to the room where you were like being drained. Didn't think about that. Also, called it my home, not meaning to call it my home. Yeah. Pretty much saying that. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna live. I don't know why my brain went morgue is your home. Well this used to be a home. That's true. For like ninety people at one time. Yeah. That is really weird that I called the morgue my home. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun, enjoy yourselves. Which is look. The location's all yours. Oh my gosh. So scary. You see how dark it gets when Evan turns the light that way? I was thinking headphones and REM pod in the morgue. Okay. And then, honestly, like, everything else can be utilized. Cool. Upstairs if you guys want. Can we take the music box? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, say I was saying for sure that you two should be in the morgue. Yeah. And then all the rest is up for grabs. That's perfect. I don't all even right. want to look in some of these rooms as you go now. I want to thank you for leading the way, because I did not want to be in the front. Yeah. I got the K2 on just in case we get a little spike. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to go first. We, you're you're the leader, Corey. You never go first because I like to let friends go first. Just oh god, seeing that dummy just scared me. So we have the noise canceling headphones mm -hmm. and the spirit box, which will be the first time we've actually done it on this trip. Yep. You ever done that before? No. Oh, you got it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I know it's on the headphones. Yep. Okay. So you know the spirit box. Yeah. yeah. So the idea behind the spirit box is with the headphones, if you're only saying the things you hear, and you're the only one listening. Box. So we'll ask you questions and try to talk to it, and you let us know if you, if you hear it. Okay. So we'll see you. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea what we're asking. Oh, Corey. Oh my God. <laughs> I love the mirrors. Why? Just because you always thought it was going to be like someone standing behind you, like that coat. <sighs> right. Where should we set these up then? Okay. I feel like we should hold this one and then set this one up somewhere. Yeah, where should we? Maybe, maybe should we have the music box facing this entrance or that entrance? I think that because of the lift. Okay. I will say these are not a normal voice dancing, so you might have to hold them. Okay. Or we'll have to be kind of quiet. And then cat ball here and the red pod. So, um, cat ball could have been the hallway. Sure. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's do that last time. Okay. So, Evan, yeah. I'm going to put this over here by you. Alright. Because then both of them are like covered. Alright, so right here? Yeah. Was it? It was like a like coming from in here. Like it sounded like a, maybe like if the elevator was like in use for like half a second, just like. That just never goes just up. Hit up. What? What? Right. It sounded like this. Quiet. That's what you just heard? No, no, like this. No, you no, didn't. like it. Wait, like this. What? Like oh. Dude. He, he, I, 
Yeah. That one's rare to go off. I don't think it likes us being in here. Do you like us being in here? Put some more energy into that if you enjoy us being up here. You want me to sit in the floor? Yeah, you can sit right there in the corner. Um, all the units in this wheel. Okay, right there. So, we'll wait for you to throw them off. Alright. You ready? Yeah. We should also introduce ourselves. Ah, uh, for, for, for anything. So. You wanna set it off? Huh? You wanna start it off? Sure. Everything that we've always been told is just to knock three times and something would, and then just say your name. So. Hello. My name is Elton. being in here? What do you want us to, what do you want us to say? I think he doesn't care either way. That'd be nice. Yeah. He's just like grumpy and just Are you an older man? Are we in your home? This room was most likely used to store the bodies of people that have passed away here in this home. That this table has had many people's last breaths taken on it. There's no way we can hear them. There's six floors above us. Are you hearing it? Yeah. I can hear it, you. I can hear it. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be that way. And even if there's a street, the street's over here, and there's no windows. The street's a little bit of a little bit of a street, right? Maybe it's somewhere else. Wasn't that children that was scared of nothing? Yeah. Oh, and they would play on the stairs, but they want to come in here. Are we speaking with a child? Or are we speaking with George? If for some reason and somehow you happen to be one of the women on the wall, we know what happened to you was horrific. And we only wish to hear your story, if you so choose to speak. Dan will have a device on that you can communicate through. So anything you wish to say, even if only a word or a full sentence, you can pass that message through mm -hmm. him. I do. So feel free to communicate through him. George, are you able to see us and hear us? Yes. Mm. George! Oh. Sorry, you can go. George, are you aware that you are dead? And that you have moved on from your life? Or are you still alive as normal and you're not aware? K2 just spiked. George, do you think that you're still alive?
George, do you have other family members living here as well? Holy shit. Holy shit. George, is there more than one spirit here? Oh, did she the light? What was that? The light, no, the light just proper came on. As if it was like strong, like a strong, yeah. Whoa. See? There's more. I just had that up again. You did? How did you not hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No, I didn't. The exact same over here. It's, it's, it's not this, but it's like a... It's a deeper one. Yeah, it's like... Like it's inside just the like wall. That. Are there spirits inside the walls? It seems to be in the elevator. Do you not want us in here? He's, he's getting grumpy. After initially. After after it was initial. This they said it was thousands. Thousands. Of people down here. And he's saying there were thousands of people down in this room or in this home. Or on the table. Can you give us your name? Let us know who we're talking to. I'm going to give you a tool and you can take as much energy out of this as you want, okay? Can you drain that battery and use that energy to put more power into the device that you're touching right now and make it light up? Should I turn it off and back on? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Behind. Behind who? Behind where? The wall. Behind what wall? If that was you that we were just talking to, can you make your way? Can you make your way through this room and walk over to the elevator shaft? We have a device sitting on the bed that's facing the other door that if you walk in front of it, it'll play music. So if you want to listen to music, all you have to do is walk in front of that device. It's laying on the pillow, okay? You know, we also have a toy in the middle of the room. If 
you like to touch it, it'll light up and we can communicate with you. You can use it for energy, you can use your energy towards it. I'll show you how to in this building. What's in this building? The boss is in here. And the boss is in here. And you don't need to be afraid to break the rules. So if you'd like, all you have to do is bring your energy near that. Then we'll know that you're here. Should I put, should I switch these? Yeah. Like maybe put that in the elevator shaft and then, or elevator area and then put that by the stairs instead? Yeah. Here, can you grab that? Yeah. All right, whoever we're talking to, we're not sure if it's George. We're not sure if it's another spirit. Oh, turn it off, because you got to reset it whenever. All right, spikes in that way. Yeah, I have it facing the stairs. Okay, I'm going to go around the room and read the names of the victims. If at any point, you can give us a signal from any of our devices or communicate through the headphones. We can know it's you. We can know we're talking to you. Your name happened to be Mary Ann Nichols. Is your name Martha? Was it Francis? With a nickname Carrie Nell? Spirit right here? If there is, can you touch that box? Can you put more energy into it? Can you make all four lights light up? Come on. Can you light all four of the lights up? light up. You just got to be a little bit more stronger. Are you trapped here? Do you like it here? Is there someone keeping you here as a prisoner? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of, all these 
through, but I just can't tell what's saying. There's a lot of muffled stuff, but... Okay. It's one of those things where I feel like the more often you have them on, the easier it is to... I'm going to really take your spot. Were you killed in this building? It's like, next question. Were you killed by Jack the Ripper? He didn't stay here though, right? Is it possible that this could be a spirit of an item or something yeah, that's here? Agree. I feel like that's a yes. Was you killed here and then taken downstairs to the morgue where our friends are? Let's turn on the Oculus. Wait, maybe they died here. Maybe they died there. Did you die on this bed? Was this your room? Mary. Like M-A-R-R-Y. Killed. Killed. Energy, pillow, and killed. Within... 45 seconds of opening this. All right, we've come to talk to you. Is there anybody here who would like to communicate with us? Is that you knocking? Dad is speaking. Are you speaking to us? If you were one of the victims, let me know. This is your chance to speak. Come and take. Come and take a walk. Were you killed by your partner? Numbers. Numbers. Any numbers in here? What numbers? Like a year, they're trying to get us a year that they were killed. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Come on then. That was good. Put your energy in. Were you killed in the 1800s? Were you killed in the 1880s? The 1890s? It sounded like you look pretty again. Oh, no, you heard earlier? Yeah. In the elevator? Yeah. I literally heard you look pretty. And then remember what you heard in the elevator? Yeah. We got you. Oh, <laughs> also you are yelling. <laughs> oh, yeah? I can't, I can't tell. Are you calling me pretty? Yes. same person who spoke to us in the elevator. I made him come out. I made him come out. I want to put a cat ball up here. Just because this is where it 
was going crazy. And the music box hasn't gone off once. Yeah. It's literally only been. Uh, oh my god, K2 just spiked well as I was zooming into it. I just heard, I literally just heard a knock again. Burning, beware. I heard that knock again. It's there on the wall. It said burning, beware. And you heard a knock? What is burning? What are you trying to warn us from? Standing behind that door, we get a weird vibe from over there. I'm inside the room. I have no idea what's up looking out there. Yeah, I, I, I think it's my eyes playing tricks. I can see like the shadows moving. But if you're outside that door, please come inside. And there's a device on the table to let us know that you've come inside. You're fine. My fine? Are you fine, bro? It might be the dog, might be the piss. Like, you can't talk that. Be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. If you want to remain out there, that's fine. But if you want to just know that you did Make a fine. Can you make a noise for us to let us know where you are? Yeah. What was that outside? What was that? What was that click? That footstep. Okay. Well, thank you for talking with us. It was either the children or George or another spirit that's here. We appreciate it. Cheers, George. Should we go meet up with Elton? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe the kids are playing on the stairs and they've gone down. Gag. Gag us mad. Gag us mad. Grumpy George is mad at us. Gag us mad. Do not step. What? Yo. Elton. Steps, but nothing. We got lights and knocks, dude. We got. We've been getting a bunch of like. It sounds like there's been walking out here and up here the whole time. We're like, there's no way it's you guys. So this REM pod mm -hmm. went off the entire time. Are you serious? Really? So where'd you put it? The coffin and the cat ball. The cat ball just went off when nobody was moving. Wait, the coffin went off. Coffin went off the entire oh, time. Yeah. Where, we, where was it located? It went off again? Two different places. At the top of the stairs. We put top of the stairs and by the elevator, so we had to turn it off because it wouldn't stop going off. You have cat balls off again. Yeah. Should we get the middle room? I want to try the one room where there's the artifacts. Yeah, like 100% confirmed real artifacts. Right, because see. everything else is kind of like a, a, a simulation, a mock up, you know? Yeah. Elton's doing the uh, the voice box, the spirit box, and, and he goes, "You are pretty." The same <laughs> said in the elevator, Evan. Wow. What? Yeah. So nothing crazy happened. No, no, I don't, I don't think anything that we could say was like really accurate. No. What about when you had the headphones in? The "You're pretty" is a nice callback, but other than that. Shadow in the, in the doorway, huh? mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I saw oh, yeah. it. I peeped it and I was like, what the f George, if you're here with us, could you touch this device in front of us like you've been all night to give us a hello?
Let me set his kids up here. Yeah. And on the status. So one thing I realize is that we're currently in the center of the home. Mm -hmm. So we're closest to where George is. Like everyone, this is the common ground. Yeah. And above us, right above Dan's head, are where the real artifacts are from the murder. So if there's access to continent, kind of bring everyone together that might reside in the home, it's right here. Mm. So if there's anyone in this entire house, for tonight, we're asking that you might leave the room that you tend to stay in. Or anything or anyone that might be attached to some of the items above us. Could you please enter this room with us tonight? You don't need to live alone. Or if you wish to, maybe tonight you would enjoy some company. Agreed. Agreed. That hasn't gone off since you've been up here. And complete. Agreed and complete. You agree that you would like some company. Well, if you want to talk to us, can you make any of our devices go off that we have set up around this room? Let's see. It says pillow again. Are you going to pillow? Go? No. George, would you like me to bring you some alcohol? Would that make you come inside? Do you want a drink? Did you get this feeling this smell looking at looking at some of the really? peeping around the corner, yeah? Yeah, I keep looking at that shit. It, just, it, it feels like, like something's weighing out there. Is there something outside of the door? Is there something watching us? Girl's voice. You heard that? Yeah. Must be on the stairs. Did he ever tell us what George looks like? Mm mm. No. He's, he's an older man, right? Yeah. Like, grumpy. Grumpy older man that would maybe have a cane? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go be George? <laughs> you think I should walk up there wearing that? I mean. Who's George going to talk to? A bunch of kids in their 20s and early 30s? Yeah, he probably hates us, man. I'll dress up how George used to dress. Judge. Judge. Yeah, he'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I feel like what would be interesting... Present? Percent. Oh. But it could be present. So what devices were going off up there earlier? The red pod. This one. It was the call. The cat holes didn't go off at all, did they? No. If George likes to be alone, then what if you just went up there and tried to make friends with George? Good Should one. I take... Take this. Yeah, take yeah. whatever you want with you and we'll stay down here with the rest. And then just give me a cat ball. Yeah. There's one right here. Did anyone else just hear that? <laughs> Camera. Did anyone else just hear that? <laughs> what? Oh. It was like a... Yeah. Yeah. It's not, like that, a, right? it's not like a pipe being set, being like scooted. Date. Date. Evan, I think if anything, you should stay like within the door frame. Yeah, yeah. Not into the room. Yeah. Let him and George be alone. <sighs> Alright, Evan. Shall we? We shall. Ooh, dude, I got major chills. Jeez. Where should I place this on the pillow? Because it kept saying pillow. Yeah, go for it. I feel sick. I feel like a, like a, like a lot of pressure literally has gone on me. I feel sick, dog. Dude, it's actually hard to breathe. Wasn't he saying that earlier? Yeah. I'm not even playing.
Okay. I came back up here. I'm putting this device on the pillow. What the f was that? What? You didn't hear that? No. Dude, there was an attack on the ceiling. What the f was it go? Dude, super loud on the ceiling. Hopefully the camera got it. When were all the murders? 1890s. 1880. Were they in August and September? Uh, yeah, August, yeah. It was, uh, they called it the autumn. Of slaughter, also oh. assault, assault, yeah. So I wonder if today is the date of one of them. Mm. I wonder if it's September 18th. It's a high possibility. You know what I just noticed? Hmm. The devices went off outside of the room. Yeah. They never went off in the room. You're right. Okay. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna put it back over here where it was earlier. All right. If you like what I'm wearing, can you make that go off? They'll go off outside of the room, but they won't go off in the room. I mean, Do you like what I'm wearing? You like my top hat and cane? It is pretty nice, isn't it? It's a little fancy. I gotta say, I'm kind of liking it too. Are you scared to come in this room? We just had that on for 10, 15 minutes down there and it never went off. All right, now there's less of us in here. You don't have to be scared. If you want to come in and touch the device in the middle of the room, we won't hurt you. We just want to make friends and let, you, and let us know that you're here. I have a feeling this is the only device that you like. I'll put it here one more time for you, okay? Alright. If you like my suit, can you make that go off? Are you stuck in the elevator? Are you standing in front of me? Okay, well I have to leave, so can you tell me goodbye? Thank you for talking with me. All right, well, maybe one day I'll come back here in the future and we can talk again. All right? Is this George? All right, George. Thank you for talking with me. Hope you have a good night. Were you getting a lot of stuff? Oh, that's where the REM part was. Mm, wouldn't stop. And we were saying maybe that's what, because that's where the kids, that room, they were scared to come in. So oh, me and Troy were saying, 
you're welcome in because mm -hmm. it's like George's room. Hey. Hey. How was it? This one off the whole time. Like this before. Literally, yeah. but even when you left, it was like, there was just no energy. Yeah, there was nothing here. But so we said maybe the energy has gone back upstairs with you. It's George, and he's just chilling by yeah. the elevator. But I think yeah. something bad happened up there. Like, bad, bad. Sure the and literally, the spirits here are too scared to go in there. But because what was it? Because they said kill, fire, mm -hmm. roll was another one. Mm -hmm. They said gag, knife. Yeah. Wait, is it all those things? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like you not realize. Wait, you guys don't realize those those are the room all is? murders. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Wait, what's the room upstairs? If you know, George, uh, the top top room wasn't yeah. George's. No. It was, was meant to. It was meant to replicate one of his murders. Yeah. That was like a per. That room was a perfect representation. Remember the mutilated girl downstairs? Mm -hmm. Who's all? That's supposed to be what that is. The picture with yeah, that's what that room is. The room is meant to be an exact representation of the crime scene. That's why there's blood on the bed and on the pillow. Yeah, there's a lot of bits and pieces throughout the house. Like mm -hmm. they have a, a morgue that wasn't really a morgue, but they dressed it like a morgue. They have a room of a crime scene that's a replication of a crime scene. Mm -hmm. They have real items here that were connected to the crime. Ah, uh, okay. And so real people lived here. And real people lived here. And people died here. So maybe like whatever's here doesn't even know we're always oh my gosh, yeah. no. What if it's the murder victim that's in that room and the other spirits are too scared to go in there because of her? It's mm -hmm. almost insane. Thing. There's so many... Because they lived here. The other spirits actually lived here. But then ever since those objects got brought here... Yeah, there's like a, yeah it's like a brought a dark presence, presence show, into their yeah. home. Yeah. That's why the devices want to go off in there. And he said that the devices could have things attached to them, so if they brought in these items with attachments, it would clear out the other ones. Holy shit. Or they're just even afraid, like, of those items. Like, yeah. this was their home, and now all of a sudden there's a fake murder bed covered in blood in their in their living room, in their, in their bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Corey, what did it say? I can't remember. Did it go off when we asked if they know that they're dead? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, he said no. Because it so, didn't go off. He so said, do you know that you're imagine dead? Imagine that. Imagine you don't know you're dead, and you're alive, yeah. and all of a sudden you don't know how. There's just a bloody bed upstairs of your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had no activity in here either. Like, why would they ever come in here? Like, what? There's yeah. skulls and. Yeah, maybe. but we had no activity in that room, actually, if you think about it. Because this device would only go off if it was by the stairs or by the elevator. Which the elevator was a closet. Mm. That's what that was. The storage room was originally a closet. Strange. Yeah. Strange place. I don't, think, I don't know if you've ever been to a place like this. Where there's been like a mixture, like even like with the board. Whoa! Did you guys hear that? Upstairs. Did you hear? That was like a thump. That was big. No, that was something scary. Like it just got scraped. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a door shut. Should we go see if the bed just moved? Bro, that sounded like the bed moved. Anybody want to go look with me? Yeah. Put the camera up there. No. Oh my god, was this open? I think so. I think it was. Are you sure? I think so. I mean, you were up here more than Maybe that's what the noise was. That's what I'm saying. Close see, it, close yeah, it, see, see, if, see if it makes a noise. I mean, we can check playback later. I don't know if that was open. I don't think it was open. I feel I like so many cables. Oh my god, I thought oh, she saw that one. That's so outside. difficult to move. I feel like is they it? clocked it yeah. open earlier. What? What was it? Everybody heard that. Yeah. yeah. There was something over there. So, in the, so your first time, everything was going off out there? Both here and there. Oh, interesting. But nothing would go off. Do you reckon it was the chair? Yeah, that is. Yeah, it sounded more like it. Oh yeah. But it would have to be a lot louder to go two flights down. Yeah, it sounded heavy. I don't know, we all heard that. Yeah. We all heard that. Alright. Just making sure. Cool. Man, if nobody 
literally came up the stairs if we were this. <laughs> First off, thank you to Jack the Ripper Museum for having us here and allowing us to take over the whole place for the night and be the first film team that was here. Interesting night. Mm -hmm. Very. I think when you compare it to Hellfire Club mm -hmm. and Valley Galley and Hellfire Cave, we have this massive expectation for activity now. I mean, we got spoiled a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely got some activity up there. Okay. I think it just, it really makes you appreciate and understand like the realism of what it really does go off and go crazy these devices. It's, yeah. it seems so much more legit when you do have a night like this where things are just more calm and more mellow. Yeah. Like, Overall fun experience. Yeah. Uh, regardless, if you're in the area, come check it out. It's a really cool, very cool spot. It's actually really interesting. Very cool. Layers of history. Yeah. But uh, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah. We're driving out now to Pluckley Village. Great. To do a paranormal investigation where I just found out that they hate paranormal investigators. Yep. What? You've been there, but you didn't do an investigation when you were there. I got right? out of there. I saw the signs, the signs saying, ghost hunters keep out. No. This is a town village, and they want you out. Are they gonna do anything? Like, can home? they? I mean, yeah, these are crazy village folk. They might, yeah. We are going in the middle of nowhere. It's like a pretty good drive. And there, yeah, there's no way they're gonna see us with that giant light. There's <laughs> no way. And the thing is, no one will hear you scream as well. Well, it's they can't hear secluded. you scream in the screaming woods because the woods are already screaming. Wait, what are the screaming woods? The screaming woods. Oh, sorry. Don't tell. You might not go. What does that mean? Why screaming woods? Well, I think you kind of know what that means. <laughs> well, let's hit the road. You're not coming with us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Wish you the best so, of luck, though. Yeah. We're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna hit, hit the, the road, ball. Jack. Well, awesome. if he dives tonight, then who's gonna finish editing all of our final pieces? You're right. I guess I'll fall back and do some editing. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm about to download Windows yeah. Movie Maker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jack, you guys are too young. Thanks for coming, man. You're very welcome. Thanks for all your work and all of, our, all of our obnoxious videos for the last year. Are we ready? Let's do it. Good luck. All right, off to Pluckley Village. Off to Screaming Tree Screaming yeah. Woods. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, don't forget about the cemetery or anything else like that either. The what? Hmm? So no ghost hunting allowed. The trees that can talk. Cemetery. The cemetery? Well, the cemetery is not even for the people that died there. It's for all the ghosts. 